Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I am over the moon excited about today's coach. Uh, it is packed full of fantastic surprises, all new for 2024. I am bringing you the first glimpse at the 2024 Ventana. Now get this, this is the 3809 floor plan offered by Numar for 2024. So as usual, I love to start my videos from the inside out. Avin, if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and take her on back. We are chocked full of surprises for today. So this is a toffee glazed maple hardwood high gloss finish. It is gorgeous with the Brighton decor. Uh, this is the second vehicle that I've done a Brighton decor video on today. The first one was on the 37 foot Superstar. But I am so excited about the new cabinetry. This is a full redesign. You know, every four years we'll come up with some new reason that you have to buy another RV. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of new reasons that you might consider this coach. This is an L9, a 38 foot L9. So we get down below that 40 foot line. We have a single axle in the rear, not dual, so more storage capacity. And we have 1,150 foot-pounds of torque and 380 horsepower with a 10,000 pound towing capacity. This coach is going to check off so many boxes for so many people. Um, please give me a call. Let me know what I can do to order one for you. Uh, you'll find all of my contact information uh, throughout the video, either at the beginning or the end below. You can always reach me at 303 562-8659. You can text me, call me. I'm happy to communicate by email, whatever makes you most comfortable. But I cannot tell you how exciting this bath and a half floor plan is. So first of all, take a look at this really cool shower. Lots of room. And look at this. They have put the towel bar on the outside and they've also given us a nice shower uh, overhead um, uh, it's a skylight. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I can't talk. An overhead skylight above. But look at that. There's a bench to sit on. What the heck? This is so neat. Now, of course, that's because this is a rear engine diesel pusher and it's got that big 8.9 liter engine in it. Um, but they've taken that space and made it a bench for you to sit in. I am so excited about this shower. And then look at this. What a great extra closet space. There's so much room in this rear bath. Uh, now this coach is equipped with three zone heated floors. So these beautiful tile floors below us in this Brighton decor are heated. And you have a single bath in the back. I was telling Avin earlier, it was destiny. I did bring this bracelet with me, having no idea that I would be matching our new beautiful vessel sink. Um, I love this new vessel sink for the Ventana. I love these beautiful new um, subway tiles that they have. They actually have kind of a holograph holographic reflection in them. Uh, again, this is the Brighton decor. It's so pretty, so light. Um, look at the gigantic amount of room you have here in your medicine cabinet. It is so big. Uh, all carpet lined, of course, so no rattles or, or um, bumps going down the road. Nice and quiet. Really cool uh, overhead uh, vanity light as well. Lots of counter space behind the sink. So plenty of room for your toothbrush holder, soap dispensers, mouthwash, whatever it is that you might take, what, keep in there. And then look at all that room for linens. You've got so much room for towels in this coach. And two beautiful full extension drawers. And again, this maple uh, cabinetry in the toffee high gloss is so pretty. I just love it. There's also two 110 outlets underneath here so you can get your hair dryer plugged in. And then also we have the optional Splendid washer and dryer stackable as well. And what that means is because of the location here, I can actually do my laundry while going down the road without having to put my slides out to switch out my laundry. And this 38 foot chassis boasts an eight kilowatt generator 105 gallons of fresh water, a 60 gallon gray water tank, and a 40 gallon black water tank, which means I can do four or five loads of laundry before I get to my next destination and dunk my gray tanks. I also have the Aqua Miser shower system in this coach, which gives me the ability to conserve my gray water room. So I love that. A nice towel bar here, a fantastic fan above, 
And then I also have an emergency egress door here in the back. And I love these new Lamborghinis, but even more importantly, next to my beautiful egress door, I have my favorite thing, the robe hook. So Numar, thank you so much for listening. I really love to have a robe hook in all of the RVs. It's super important to have somewhere to hang up your stuff when you're getting out of the shower and getting dressed in the morning. Now, as we come through this threshold, I will go ahead and just close this so you can see this nice solid pocket door that we have here separating you. So if you're getting ready in the morning and your partner is still sleeping in this beautiful king size bed, this is an RV King at 72 by 80 with 110 outlets and USB ports at the nightstand, a water bottle holder down below, and plenty of room to keep your cell phone plugged in and next to you at night, I know a lot of people aren't using things like alarm clocks anymore, uh, but more importantly, Kim, let me move these off to the side. She puts little decorations on all the beds and I'm always afraid, at least that one doesn't have like martini glasses on it like the last one. Uh, we have been at this auto show for two days now shooting videos and it is so much fun. Uh, so underneath here are your uh, extra chairs and you'll see why those come into play later on. But I wanted to point out that those 110 outlets can give you room for a CPAP machine to the right or the left of the bed. And one of the most important things about this bed is that after you get up in the morning and it's time to go out and start your day, it's really easy to make this bed because, uh oh, I just made a big mess. Uh, there's plenty of room to tuck in your blankets at the side of your headboard. So instead of being so tight like it is in other manufacturers, it's really easy to get your bed nice and tidy before you start your day. Now, when I walked in, I was like, well, what the heck is that for? And I started looking around and I cannot wait to show you. I'm gonna bring this with me when we leave this room. Okay, bam, safe. You still get your safe. How awesome is that? And a great wardrobe closet with a nice LED light and great drawer storage down below. Fully extends past your cabinet so you have easy access and plenty of room for stuff as you can see. We've got a ton of stuff out here on this little nightstand. Uh -oh, put that right there. Pick this up. Show you this window or this drawer. Your, your emergency fire escape window. Now, of course, I would probably use a ladder in the egress door myself, but you know, different strokes for different folks. Oh, 4K 43 inch smart TV. Love that. Plug in the PlayStation PS5 right down here. Get your game on. Not a lot of people doing satellites these days. We're doing lots of Wi-Fi systems. We're doing Starlink, Cradle Point. Numar has two satellite systems available as well. Um, we do a lot of streaming on these 4K smart TVs. Uh, now, one of the best new features, oh wait, hold on. Keep out the rest of the world, right? It's a nice pocket doors here as well. Uh, but one of the best features about this coach is right here. So in 2023, we went to this new 10 inch control monitor in the center of the coach. What a better place to put it. Uh, and also it has Bluetooth pairing, which means I can actually operate this coach with my phone by pairing to this station. I can see all of these same things, whether it be my uh, battery charge, my water capacity, I can turn all my lights on and off. I can control my three zone floor heat. I can control my HVAC. I mean, all of this is so much easier to use than these little KIB switches throughout the coach. Now, of course, you still wanna have a light switch when you walk into your room. You don't wanna to have to open your phone and open up an app, but when it's time to go to bed, if you forgot to turn off a light, or if maybe you hear something in the front and one of the kids needs to get up from the bunk bed that you haven't seen yet, you can go ahead and turn that light on from them just from the touch of a button on your phone. It's fantastic. Now, take a look at this little area here. This is a great little cubby to keep some of your uh, some of your supplies in. It's not a huge pantry, but very, very useful, especially I'm thinking if I have like a frying pan or something, I can put it in the bottom and then all of my taller supplies, like maybe syrup, olive oil, things along those lines, liquids right there in that smaller aspect of the pantry. Uh, this has the upgraded 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This is the upgraded all electric version of the Ventana. So no propane on board. Um, I am just so over the moon. I couldn't believe it when they told me that this was an 8.9 liter, 38 foot coach with a 10,000 pound towing capacity. I was like, oh my gosh, it couldn't get any better, but it's going to get better folks. It's gonna get even better. Look at this, so much room here. 
Um, I've never filled up my entire freezer. Of course, I have a 2022 Superstar. And I mean, I don't know. It seems like, you know, Andrew, I think you should just upgrade me for free because it's really good marketing for Trans West. You know, new RVs for your salespeople will always make them sell more coaches. He's probably not going to go for that one. Okay, I haven't been going in these bathrooms during these videos, but I wanted to come into this one because I think it's so important to show you how much fantastic storage you have in this coach. I just love this. Tons and tons of storage. A huge medicine cabinet as well. Lots and lots of room for your flat iron, for your uh, hair dryer, all of your makeup supplies. So if you wanted to get dressed and ready in the morning, this would be a great location. Tons and tons of cabinet space throughout. And also, you got your kick plate here for your central back. Now the um, attachment for the hoses is outside of the bathroom on this wall here down below. Uh, that's of course because if you would like to get a non-carpeted unit, you'll have to go into the Dutch Star. So that's one level up. Uh, but I'll tell you, this Ventana is, wow, talk about, one of the benefits of the Dutch Star was you could get a 3709. This is a 3809 you can get a 3709 Dutch Star and still maintain that L9 engine. So to have a 38 foot Ventana where you're coming in under 40 feet, that shorter coach that everyone's looking for and still have that big performance, that big power, that 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. This is just a fantastic opportunity. Uh, of course, we've got here the brains of the operation, right? Then we've got our uh, little um, Wi-Fi extender here and then we've got our circuit, uh, our, our um, I'm not even gonna say it. What am I thinking of, Avin? What is this thing called, Avin? Come on, help me out here. Circuit breakers. Oh, circuit breakers. There we go, nice and clearly labeled. Um, all of our Lamberquins are nice and chrome uh, trimmed as well, so just giving you a extra little degree of panache. Opening windows, a fantastic fan. Of course, we got that nice touch, soft touch ceiling throughout this coach as well. And then this pocket door pivots because this coach is really easy to walk through to get to the restroom when you uh, are on the road. And the reason is, take a look at this fantastic desk setup. So they came out with this last year and I'm showing it to you in one of two ways. So in this configuration, you would probably eat dinner facing this direction with your chair out like this, right? So this would probably be the best location. You can have a huge buffet in front of you. You can have your French press, all of your breakfast pastries, your butter dish, salt and pepper, everything that you need right there at the touch of your fingertips. Um, and I wanted to go ahead, I'm gonna pull these chairs out. Look at how gorgeous this chair is. Isn't this beautiful? We're always so focused on adding um, fabrics to them. I love the fact that we've got this nice ultra leather, soft touch uh, effect with this beautiful wood inlay. I just think that these are so elegant. Um, I was absolutely tickled when I walked into this coach yesterday. Um, as I mentioned, we've been here for the last two days and there's so much to take in. There's been so many great upgrades. We've got a new 38 foot Mountain Air, a new 38 foot Ventana, uh, a new uh, facelift on the London Air. But this is one of my most exciting coaches because I think so many people are looking for a shorter diesel pusher that's not that 6.7 liter ISB. So having the ISL in this coach is just fantastic. But I wanted to show you this. You get two of these compartments. Look at all of that space. I mean, what a nice place to keep your cups, your glasses. Um, maybe you keep games, dice, things along that lines on this side and you use cups and glasses on the other. I don't even know. This is just so much extra space here. But check this out. If you have a big party and there's a lot of people dining with you and you wanna have a more comfortable setting for everybody, you don't have to put it in this far. You could leave it all the way out. Like you could actually seat this the same way and really have a ton of room for those extra chairs. But how fantastic is this? So this is how it was set up when I came in. Um, and I just wanted to point out like there's so much flexibility in this dinette with this new configuration that Newmar's come up with. And one of the things that's so fantastic about it is it gives you so much good walking space so if you do have any mobility issues, this is certainly a coach worth considering. Or if you have another one, a big dog. We got a lot of people with big dogs. But you can also leave it set up like this as well when you're camping and have a really nice table for two. Lots and lots of room for entertaining. 
And when I say that, look at how much space is in this galley. Now we're going to get into the good part of the kitchen. Okay, so pantry space is rather limited over there, but look at all of these cabinets you get in this coach. It is so amazing how many cabinets you have on this RV, and you still get all of those niceties, like these full extension slide trays, so you don't have to get on your tippy toes to reach all the way into the back. And we have another, my favorite little drawer. I love this little guy. I don't know what I would put in there, but it would be good. Whatever I put in there would be fantastic. I'll put my scrubby in here. And then down below, all my cleaning supplies, maybe some extra of my sink covers, my little trash can down here. I love compartmentalized drawers. Look at all of this drawer space. These are so big. So much storage in this kitchen. So much counter space. And there's a 110 outlet up here. There's two of them here. And then there's another two here. So if you wanted to have your rice cooker, your air fryer, your coffee pot, your toaster, there is plenty of room for that in this coach. And then on top of it, you also have your optional dishwasher by Fisher Paykel. Your silverware drawer, of course, clad with a million remotes. Um, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of power going on around here. Um, your covers have built-in cutting boards as well. And then my favorite aspect of my coach, the reason the London Air is my favorite high-end coach this year, is because they still have the true induction cooktop, which is a fantastic cooktop that is removable so that you can do your cooking both inside and outside of your coach. If you catch a smelly little trout and you want to make him for dinner, as, in, as in indicated on that placard there, you can cook him outside. So you will not have smelly coach inside of your coach, which is great. Um, I know we've all done that thing where maybe you make bacon in your coach. Okay, bacon's great. Who doesn't like bacon? But fish, yeah, you might want to cook fish in your coach. You might want to take that outside, make your fish outside. Just saying. Okay, so look at all of this additional room. So I know our pantry that's on the left and the right of the kitchen is not that substantial, but you have so much extra storage here for bins. You could keep tons of snacks in here, tons of little, uh, little uh, treats for the kiddos. There's so much storage on either side of this optional fireplace. And then, oh my gosh, who likes to party? I do. Uh, we have parties at my house all the time. This is amazing. You could have such a cool spread here. A nice charcuterie board, some walk and chips, some uh, some uh, some salsa. You know, you could have all the fixing for sort of burgers. So if you wanted to have a barbecue outside, but have your 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 prep station on the inside, and then you have this gorgeous window. And again, I just love this bright interior. I love these uh, chrome trimmed lambrequins. They're so pretty, and I love the amount of counter space you get in this floor plan. Again, this is the 3809, and it's got tons of storage throughout. You've got your sound bar up top. You've got your ability to plug in your, uh, your uh, again, PlayStation 5, any of your, if you've got satellite, if you've got, you know, Dish, DirecTV, everything goes right here. It's all pre-wired for you. And I know that you think, well, of course it is. I gotta tell you folks, not everything is as simple as you'd like it to be. There are other manufacturers where you can't have dual receivers without a bunch of shenanigans. But in this coach, you get a nice satellite system. You like Dish Network. You want to have a few receivers. This coach is already ready, locked, and loaded. All you got to do is pick out your satellite and get your receivers to us. We'll get everything preset for you. Uh, it's a huge, huge differentiation. Um, another thing I think that's really important is when I say that this coach has a 10,000-pound towing capacity, Newmar's not messing around. You can load this coach up. You can get the recommended weight loadings on here. You can actually have people in it. You can actually have water on board. You can actually have your dishes, your lawn chairs, your paddle boards, everything that you need to have in your coach in your coach. And this coach is designed so that when you do that, you're still going to have enough capacity to tow your tow vehicle up, for t up to 10,000 pounds. And of course, that's really important because a lot of times our Jeeps and our uh, F-150s are coming in over that 5,000 pound mark these days. And that's important stuff. You don't want to void your chassis warranty by towing something that's too heavy. Uh, you can cause a lot of issues. Stopping becomes a big problem. 
um, all of those things. So it's really important to understand that with this new setup on this 38 foot coach, you have 380 horsepower, 1150 foot pounds of torque, and a 10,000 pound true towing capacity. So you can get that heavier vehicle. Maybe you've got an F-150 with all of your kayaks and your bikes in it. I mean, I don't know. However you wanna go, you can do it in this RV. And that's so important when you wanna get out on the road. Now in this theater seating package, you have USB ports on the chairs in the controls for the extensions. You also have a ton of room here in the center. When I say a ton, look at that. All of your nice blankies and pillows, you can put everything in there so you can be nice and comfy when it's time to hit the road. And you've got your USB ports and your 110 outlets right here. So if you do wanna have your laptop out, maybe you're doing some work while you're on the road, you know, you, you, you're you having one or two, you know, break days where you're not working, but you still have to get caught up on those emails. This is a great place to be able to sit down and relax. Look at all of these big, beautiful windows. You're in this gigantic apartment on wheels. I mean, this is like Manhattan in a box. It is so beautiful in this coach. Um, now, of course, I think that we covered the overhead compartment cover or here overhead storage if we didn't I think this is a great place to keep board games this is just so much so much capacity in this RV it's really impressive um, definitely my favorite floor plan of the uh, of the show um, I also love the new uh, wall sconces that they have in the Ventana this year uh, they've just done a really nice job you know one of the things people are looking for is a little bit of a panache a little bit of a nicer uh, look, you know, there's so many other manufacturers out there. Uh, so when you spend the extra money, what do you get? Well, you get not only a fantastic looking coach, but you also get something that functions really well. This is what that little ladder was for. I got to tell you, like one of my favorite things about this RV right now, I get up and I usually start a lot of my videos on these bunks. Um, <laughs> and I always have Jody turn around and face the other direction while I get off of the ladder because I am not graceful. Um, I love the fact that this ladder is at a lower threshold in this coach. This is a very short distance to have to fall down from. So if you're a little clumsy like me and you fall off the ladder, you don't have that far to go. I mean, that's a really nice feature of this coach. Avin's shaking his head at me like, really Katie, falling off the ladder? <laughs> it's true, it's true folks. I'm not the most graceful angel in the world. Um, but. What a nice feature. So if you do have your grands and you want to bring them down, but look at how this is coming down off the side of here. Look at this mechanism dropping this, um, this bunk down. And honestly, this is one of the major complaints that I have with, uh, with RVs in general is that they don't do a really good job at the construction of these bunks. This is a really hardy control. I'm really impressed with the system here. It's super solid. It's got an aluminum track that it's built into. It keeps it level up and down. There's cubbies behind there that you can uh, look into. Of course, I'm not gonna crawl up and down on those today. We have a lot of videos to shoot at this show today. Uh, you're in for a treat. Mark Love and Teresa Crawley are both in uh, the building today. They're gonna be doing videos live for us as soon as I get done with this one. Uh, but because we took that big control panel out of the front, out of the middle, or I'm sorry, out of the front and put it in the middle, we have a much smaller compartment here, which gives us ability to have that bunk bed and still have our controller for our magnum inverter, um, for our Gerard awnings, for our exterior step awning, um, and then our slide control up here in the smaller compartment. And on top of it, we also get really cool overhead storage here. I mean, what a great place to be able to keep your sunglasses. You've got your in integrated speakers as well. Um, you've got your nice soft touch in black here so you won't get that glare. You've got your nice white soft touch up here giving you that more open feeling. So this is a really fantastic design. Something I'm very, very excited about for Numar for this coming year. Um, of course we have in 2023, we upgraded the Spartan dash. So you've got better dash controls, better access to comfort drive. We have our equal lever, equalizer smart leveling system over here on the left. We also have our Allison transmission. Um, and then again, you have your gigantic opening window here. So lots of fresh air. Uh, you've got your wireless charging dock where your phone will actually face you. So if you do have Google Maps paired with your Nav and Go navigation system, you'll have both of those things available. Big glass center dash as well. And then this coach does have uh, not only the uh, 360 camera, but also the ability to do all of the lane tracking um, all of the active cruise control. So that's an optional feature in the Ventana level. Uh, on the Spartan chassis, it's called, oh, 
I was looking at it earlier because I was looking at the price point, on guard collision mitigation system. So um, these collision mitigation systems, whether they be through uh, uh, Freightliner or through Spartan, make sure, you know, if you are driving around in a car that already does these things for you, I think it's a really good idea to opt for those features on your Ventana because this is a much larger vehicle. You know, you're driving a big unaerodynamic brick through space. It makes more sense to have the safety features on this than it does to have them on your Mercedes. Now you also have here another a wireless charging dock. You also have another two uh, USB ports and 110 outlets. Below that you'll also see your wine guard. Um, that is going to be for your antenna. You've got your mobile desk, a cup holder, and then I want to just show underneath these steps as well. For those of you who do have fine furry friends, you do have a nice place to keep puppy food and on uh, little leashes, maybe some doggy dishes, whatever you might need. And then this is a really nice step cover that comes out. So if you do have littles with you, uh, assuming that you might with that bunk model, uh, you've got a place where you can keep it covered so that they're safe. Another nice feature of this coach of course is going to be our great screen door uh, and this can open and close so you can have full uh, screen uh, full screen without any bugs and then as you can see here we have it deployed so it's up and open if you do have puppies you could actually use this screen door without having it uh, closed so if you had this bottom closed and you wanted to be able to hand groceries in or hand out the you know the um, hamburger patties and all that stuff and then just close it again. You don't actually have to open the entire door, which is nice. Uh, another great feature, of course, for the Ventana is after you leave uh, the Country Star level and you go into the Ventana, you start to get things like these, um, these door handles that actually allow you to lock and unlock not only your coach doors, but also your bay doors. Uh, it's an optional feature. You need to make sure you've got the chrome baggage door package, otherwise you will not have automatic locking doors but if you have this you can lock and unlock not only your coach but your bay doors without your keys which means when you get to camp if you're going to go plug in the water and you forgot your keys inside you know you just go ahead type in the code hit the button or you, you can even have your wife do it one of your kids do it so that you don't have to come all the way through search for those keys and hand unlock all of those doors so we like that of course i use the doorbell most of the time it's off for the show. Uh, this is a nice little place to mount a flag pole. So for all of those who love America, me too, this is a great place to hang up an American flag. This is gonna be your right hand uh, camera for when you're making your right hand turns, showing you that you're clear. Up here, you'll see your overhead camera. And then underneath uh, your feet here is where you have your eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. Now, today's video, because it gets pretty dark against the wall over here, we're not gonna do uh, the port side of this coach. We're just going to stick with starboard side. Uh, but I wanted to point out to you, uh, this does have the optional buddy plug. It also has optional hot, hot water line to the generator. And this is also where you'd find your air chuck where you could actually run your hose and, and fill up any of your tires. So all six of your tires, if you had one that was a little bit low on air, you're going to have a tire pressure monitoring system in this coach standard, as well as even if you don't get uh, that on guard system, you're going to have a lane tracking package. If you leave the lane in any of our coaches this year, you will have a vibration in your seat in any of our diesel pushers, just like you have in that of your car, just to make sure that you look up and you're paying attention to what's going on. Of course, a lot of times we're just changing the radio station. And, you know, I think most of us are pretty responsible. We don't text and drive and do things like that, but it's always good to have a little, uh, little, little buzz in your seat to remind you to look up if you feel like you're leaving the lane and you shouldn't be. Um, also in 2023 and continued into 2024, we have a new headlight package. So we have brighter headlights, better illumination. And of course we've tied that in with this beautiful new front end for 2024. So beautiful new redesign for your fiberglass end caps, both front and rear in this model year. Uh, this coach is gonna have a hundred gallon fuel capacity. And look at all the storage here. Uh, this coach is pre-wired for the Dometic on a slide. It is also pre-wired for solar. I would love to let you know, we have 190 watt panels that we are installing now, so I can get you a lot of solar for the money. Um, I would encourage you to talk to me about that before ordering your coach. Uh, so here we've got our, of course, our sound bar, our Samsung 4K smart TV. It's so fun to be inside of this big exhibit hall where everything is working and plugged in. Um, Andrew said if I sell a lot of coaches, he'll get us an indoor video lot. I would love that. 
Look at that pass-through storage. As you can see, that star foundation is bringing uh, this coach well above the chassis rail, giving you that, that quieter ride going down the road, less flex, less tile popping, uh, better stability. And if you see that little silver uh, bar right there, that's because this coach also has the outdoor carefree awning package as well as the two Nova awnings. So you have your outdoor carefree awning over this window, over the bedroom window, and also over your dining room window. So uh, we won't be able to see that, of course, on the port side today, but they're there. Another huge slide. Uh, these are a thousand pound weight rated slides. So they're really easy to get all the way out and really easy to get all the way in. We also have our manual awning controls as well as our road vac system. Uh, so these road vac systems are so handy. You can use them both inside and outside. So for me, I'm a paddle boarder. I get lots of little rocks and pebbles in my paddle board. I want to clean them up before I get the, the, um, the paddle board rolled up. It's really nice. I can just vacuum it up, make sure it looks super clean. Now here underneath, you've got a nice pegboard here to keep all of your tools as well. You don't need to use this compartment for the television since it is built into that higher sidewall. And then also, we've got a nice access point to our DEF. Oh, that's the next one. This is a little compartment. Our DEF tank is going to be in the next one. Ooh, is it on this side? I think it's on this side. Nope, it's on the other side. So across from this compartment on the other side is our DEF tank. And again, I walked this whole coach earlier. I'm sorry I can't show that to you, uh, but it's just a little bit difficult uh, because it's kind of dark. But I did want to be able to focus with you on this beautiful new rear end cap. Look at this cool inset, these fantastic LED lights. This is so sexy. This is built on the K2 Spartan chassis, again, at 380 horsepower, new for this year. In the L9, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque engine paired with your 10,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, you've got your smart hole system on here. Smart hole, of course, means that you don't need to pay to have an extra brake system integrated into this coach. It's already pre-wired. You just need to take care of the Jeep or the F-150, whatever it is that you're towing. Uh, this does have the optional ladder. This goes away in the Dutch Star. So if you went all tile floors and a ladder, you're going to have to pick. For me, I default to the Ventana. You already know that I bought a Superstar. I think it's a fantastic value for dollar. I can't tell you how happy I am. You've got your surround view camera, your overhead cameras. Oh, someone's, we're at the auto show, folks. Uh, again, this is the new 3809 Ventana. It's a fantastic coach, absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is going to be the Barnett graphics. Uh, but Avin, if you don't mind, just go down this row. We've got a whole lot of beautiful new Ventanas to look at, lots of things to talk about. Um, we've got some new chassis developments for our 43 and 40 foot chassis. So uh, please tune in to our channel here at TTTRV. Take a look at everything that we have to offer. If you're looking for my videos, you can always find me at RVs Inside Out. That's hashtag RVs Inside Out on YouTube or hashtag TTTRV. Uh, and see all of our fantastic TransWest videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know how we can get you out on the road and camping.